Today was the Huawei Developer Conference right here in Shenzhen, and we now know a lot more about new operating systems from Huawei, new phones that are going to come out, and what operating systems they're going to use. So Huawei did launch a new operating system today, Hongmeng OS, or the English name is Harmony OS. Now when all that trouble with Google came about, we thought that this OS was going to be put in phones. It turns out that's just not the case. Harmony OS is going to control a lot of other products, but Huawei did also release details of EMUI 10. That is an upgrade to the current EMUI that they're using across their cell phones. The Huawei Mate series is going to be the first series to ship with EMUI 10. And the P30 series is gonna be the first line of phones to get the public beta on the 8th of September. So Huawei released lots of footage of EMUI 10. Actually, this just looks like a iterative upgrade over EMUI 9. It's not a new operating system. It is still based on Android and it definitely isn't Hongmeng OS or a different operating system. So the colors will change, the icons will change a little bit, but overall it's the same thing. Apparently there are six different types of color scheme that you can run across the phone. Although if you choose dark mode, it's not gonna be like that. It'll just be mostly black. So how about Harmony OS, Hongmeng OS? What is this operating system? It's looking to focus on peripheral products. Why I want to get more and more into smart products, smart home products, watches, TVs, speakers, even operating systems for your car. So Harmony OS can work in conjunction with your phone, but not as a replacement to Android-based EMUI. So according to all the videos and literature that came out from Huawei today, Harmony OS is going to tie a lot of those peripheral products and supporting products together. You can see in some of the videos here that Huawei is really pushing the ability to essentially do something on your phone and then just pass it straight off to another smart product. For example, a smart TV. But they seem to be really pushing the ability to take video on your phone somewhere and then beam it somewhere else and for example at home have the ability to watch it on your phone or to just instantly put it straight onto your TV. This is very cool and also a little bit scary because essentially this will give you the ability to watch the camera footage from anywhere you have access to it. For example, if it shoots off your car or maybe even your partner's phone. I guess they'd have to give you permission. So it's kind of like spying and I don't know, with zoom cameras and the ability to watch a camera from your husband's car, it's, I don't know, it's, it's cool and a little bit scary at the same time. This obviously all ties in with 5G as well, which is coming in a lot of Huawei products over the next few years. So the first actual product to use Hongmeng OS will be a TV and it will be coming under the Honor brand. It'll be a big flat screen modern TV with Harmony OS. And all of this will obviously rely on 5G as well. You can't really beam a lot of data anywhere without 5G networks. And the Mate 30 definitely will be coming with 5G later this year when it launches. Thanks to China Unicom, who are a phone carrier here in China, we basically know every single 5G phone that is gonna come out between now and the end of the year. They detailed every single phone. So we have the Axon Pro, the Mate 20X, Vivo IQ Pro 5G, they're already out or have been released. The Note 10 5G we also know about but they've just confirmed a lot of phones that haven't actually been formally released yet. The Vivo Next 5G, the Xiaomi 9S 5G version, that looks to be an updated version of the Xiaomi Mi 9, possibly with some bumped up specs as well. Mate 30 5G version, we don't know how many of that series will get 5G yet, or whether it will just be reserved for the Pro model or a Pro 5G model. A Vivo X model, possibly the X27 5G version, or maybe a brand new X28, I guess. And then they actually confirmed the Samsung A90 that will apparently come with 5G too. So we are starting to see the future emerge, basically a set of smart products, not just your phone, but lots of smart products all working together and using 5G networks. So the future of Huawei products is a little bit clearer. We know what they're attempting to do, take 
their phones and also just add a lot of other supporting smart products all linked up. All right, that's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.